what's up Phantom fam how's everyone doing today we have a brand new product review on the channel if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button also click on the bell icon so that you're notified about all the upcoming videos and let me know what you think about this product down in the comments once we're done so without further ado let's get into today's topic check this So welcome back. What do I have here guys is my LS2 FF328 helmet. This is the one I specifically bought for touring. I also have a race pack MT Revenge back there. But let me quickly show you what I do not have on my helmet is a pin lock insert which is basically an anti-fog uh, system uh, which is available from most of the leading brands and the problem is those things can get expensive. I've hardly come across any of my friends who have pin lock, uh, ins uh, pin lock inserts in their helmets. And when we do our early morning rides, basically when I was on my last ride to Goa, and I'll be very honest with you guys, I was having so much problem because we were riding at around 4.30 in the morning. We started and it was cold and uh, there was a lot of fog. The visibility was poor so even though i have this clear visor or, or a smoked visor in that case my visor was open and as you can see it, it was uncomfortable and uh, with the cold even with the balaclava uh, there was there was a fear of uh, some object hitting uh, my eyes or you know dirt getting into my eyes so that hampers visibility it can be very dangerous for motorcycles and motorcyclists and that's when I was uh, realizing that I needed a pin lock insert but with most helmets you do not even get a readily option for purchasing a, a pin lock insert you have to buy it separately and they can get very expensive I've in fact uh, written down the prices for empty helmets from version 104 uh, of pin lock to uh, version 16 the price can be 1750 uh, and that's if it's available in stock in India and for brands like LS2 or an AJC it could be 2000 rupees or more just to get a pin lock insert <laughs> that doesn't include the price of the visor so uh, I did a little bit uh, looking around on online and I came across this company called we pro i hope you can see that with the glare or not so it's we protects it's it's a chinese uh, company they're also based in us so what they do offer is an anti-fog visor insert and they said and it specifically says no need for any pins so as you can see on my ls2 helmet uh, surprisingly when i bought it it said it was a pin lock ready helmet but there are no pins uh, so basically when you uh, use a pin lock insert it, it's got pins uh, so it basically mounts from inside the visor and uh, surprisingly my LS2 doesn't have it my empty helmets uh, visors do have it let me show it to you very quickly this is my empty helmet and as you can see that that hole right there this hole that's basically for mounting the the pin lock visor you can see it from inside as well those two points that's for mounting the pin lock visor now I obviously uh, as I said with this product you do not need to have those pins as well and let me just quickly open this and show it to you what's inside comes in this neat packaging now like I said it says no need for uh, no need any pins to lock <laughs> it's, it's a little bit of chinese english right there as you can see it says superior anti-fog performance optical clarity so there is no distortion that's what they say we will check that out once we have installed it and it's got a universal application so no matter which helmet do you have no matter which brand this should fit all the helmets i've even seen people fit them on uh, dual sport uh, helmets you know ones with the the visors which go like that it says fog free riding all year and let me just open it up 
you got some other details uh, here as well you can pause it and see if you want you read it so it costs almost half the price of an empty pin lock visor so you're saving some money there as well i don't think people actually remove a pin lock once they install it okay so this is it so when i open it you get uh, an installation guide you get the insert itself looks pretty neat still packed and you get a cleaning cloth so what i'm going to do is i'm going to follow these instructions oh my god it's it's all over exposed <laughs> so i'm going to follow these instructions and uh, i'm going to install it on my ls2 helmet starting now so let's get into that okay guys welcome back so we've done with the installation it was very easy step all through step one to step eight or how many step step nine it's pretty easy so i'm gonna try the helmet now and tell you uh what do i feel about it how's the distortion etc so let me just wear my balaclava all right Moment of truth. Okay, here goes nothing. Get it again. All right, guys. I can say there's literally no distortion, and I'm able to see very clearly. no distortion at all so very impressed with this product i've seen the the demos as far as how it uh, works so if you want i will play that clip in the end to show you the demo of how the lens is not going to fog now if you're interested in purchasing this uh, product i will leave the link down in the description below also guys uh, they are willing to give us a certain discount if we have uh, many orders so i have decided that i'm going to put this on pre order so if we can get 10 of us who want to purchase this i can get us at a very good discount so let me know i have the google form down below and the payment uh, for india internationally it's available through their website so don't worry about it and let me know guys what do you think about this product and as always your comments matter your support matters thank you fandom fam we are going to be 20000 subscribers very soon so stay tuned a lot more coming up on this channel until then fandom fam remember no matter what life throws at you just ride fandom fam fandom rides out Ooh